Today I'm going to teach you the ultimate AI hack to turning comments into leads. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. As you can see, I'm here in my CVB dashboard in the flow section. I have three tabs open. One is CVB, one is my Google Sheets, where I'll be collecting the leads, and one is Facebook. Now this is a dummy page. I use this for a bunch of different experiments, you may call it, but this is what we're using today. So just quickly going over, I have connected Facebook to this CBB account, which is this page right here. I have also connected Google Sheets. The process is extremely easy. It's pretty much clicking on connect and then choosing from the available accounts that you have and then just giving it the necessary permissions. So you would do that in integrations, settings, integrations, Google Sheets. You click that and then you click on manage. You click on connect and then you click on manage. So if I click on manage right now, I currently don't have one here. All I gotta do is just click on add. I'll give the name uh, comment leads. I'm gonna head on over to my Google Sheets. And I'm just gonna select this up here. Make sure that you have it, when you click on share, you have it to anyone with the link editor, click done. That's just how I have it. And then you would wanna paste the link in here. Now the other thing I have connected is my email and that's really simple. You simply go to channels, email, and you will connect it here. I'll actually leave a link in the description down below on how to connect your Gmail to this because I have made a mistake as well a bunch of times where I've put in my email password where it says password. You need to put an app password in there. So the video I'll attach at the bottom or drop in the description below will have a perfect step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to get that sorted. Okay, so Google Sheets connected, email connected, and what else do we have? Facebook connected. All right, let's get started. So what is the goal of this entire process? Pretty much, we have a post here. Now, this is an example, right? You can have this structured however you want on how you see fit for your audience, your client's audience, etc. But pretty much you want them to comment below. Okay, and so in this case, I'm going to have, if I feel like you're using the wrong tools and watching your competition steal the spotlight, we get it and we're here to help. Discover how AI chatbots can transform your marketing game. Drop a comment below to grab a free resource. Don't miss out. Your breakthrough awaits. So we can do this with AI. We can do this statically. We can do this a bunch of different ways. I'm going to share how I'm going to do it today. And then that will give you the overall foundation for you to build on and put your own twist on it. Again, if at any point I don't make any sense or you're confused about something or you need clarification or maybe some resources, drop it in the comments down below, you know, drop me a message on Discord or Facebook or whichever, and I'll make sure that you're taken care of. But yes, for now, we want to head over to flows and we're going to set up the private DM comment uh, flow. So we simply click on add up here and I'm going to call this one private DM comment flow. So for here, all we're going to do is click on this node right there, add content, actions, open AI, or the large language model of your choice, and then add content, text. And in this one here, all I'm going to say is, your name is John. Please provide the user this link, www.google.com. There's formatting that you can specify you can have it as a link. You can have it even as a button to a resource. There are different ways you can do this. But I want to keep this really, really simple, just like this. Then I'm going to save a uh, response to a custom field. And I'm going to say private D. Here we go. Click on continue. And so what happens is, your name is John. Please provide the user with the link. Let me add one more thing. And ask them if they would like to join our VIP email list for monthly freebies and freebies slash resources slash discounts. Let me just fix this. Boom. Like that. Let me remove that dot. And we are Gucci. Okay. For this one here, we just leave it as is because that's the last input. I'm going to click on continue. Remove this. We have it saved for sponsor custom field, which is private DM. Click continue. And I want to put that custom field here. Let's see if it shows up. Not yet. Let's just refresh and have another look. 
private DM right there. And there you go. That's the response, the output. So this is going to give them the resource and it's going to ask them if they are interested in receiving continuous, you know, updates, accounts, resources, as much value as it can provide them. And I'm, I, I'm speaking from experience here. If you provide your audience with a ton of real value, not smoke and mirrors, pretend value, they will genuinely respect you and trust your brand. And so when you have, for example, a sale going on and you drop that email blast, you're making money. You're making massive money because they already know the value that you provide. And now if you have a paid resource or something, even a discount, they're dropping money on that. That's where the money is right there. And that's from personal experience. But yes, from here, we're going to simply click on add button. And on this button, we're going to have something like VIP email list. Click on save. And the first thing we're going to do is drag this out, add content and have a get user data and ask them. Awesome. Can we please have your first name? Then we click on edit. Reply type is text because they're replying with the text. Set so response to a custom field. We can have it as first name. This is already part of the system. And then click save. Awesome. Now the next step that we'll do is from continue, drag it out and have another get user data. And in here we're going to ask for their email. So we got the first name. Now we're going to go thank you first name. That's where we saved their name in. Now we just need your email. Then we click on edit. Reply type is email. Save response to custom field email. And then we just click save. Now from here, what we want to do is data was saved. And we'll add content, actions, look for email from here and select set email opt-in. Now, this is why I connected my Gmail to this CVB account, because if you haven't got it connected, you will not see this option. So again, if you don't know how to do that, I will leave a link down below in the description on how to get that sorted for yourself. All right, so set email opt-in. And then from here, what we can do is Google Sheets. So add content, actions, look for Google Sheets. Google Sheets right here. Send data, spreadsheet to comment leads, worksheet to sheet one, custom field. So for name, we'll have first name. And then for email, we'll just have email and click save. Amazing. Then from the bottom here, we can have a final note that says, thank you. Thank you very much. First name. Thank you very much. First name. We are glad to have you with us. Watch out for awesome deals and resources. Bam, that's the confirmation. So we got greeting and resource provider. Collect first name. We'll name this one here. Collect. Collect email and opt in. Save. This one will just name it email opt in. Email opt in. This one here will be a push to Google Sheets, dot the push to Google Sheets. And for here, we'll have this as confirmation message. Awesome. Now let's click publish. And now we're going to sort out the public deal. So public, public, the comment flow. And in this one, we can have really, really simple. We don't even really need one. I'll show you two ways that we can do this, depending again on how you want this. I want to keep this a short video, as short as possible. <laughs> but pretty much you'd have this open, add content, text. We can have actions, open AI, move that up, and just bear, let the user know that we have DM. And then save it to a custom field, which could be something like uh, public DM reply, continue, and then we want to get that public DM reply right here. And that's it. Let me just see. Let you know that we have DM them. DM them with the resource. Resource. There we go. We can have their last um, message come through. And we can say something like, keep the message short. Okay. So really really important this section right here user message we usually don't ever want to touch we want to just keep it as last user input or 
you know, because this is the section that the AI looks at before it generates a response. So pretty much the way we have it is last input is there. And when the user messages, it sends through, it gets stored in that custom field or system field. And then that's what the AI reads and then uses the custom instructions as its brain and knowledge base to de decide how to respond to the user accordingly, to their question, to their message, etc. So you don't really want to touch this. I'm just going to do it for this one here because this is not my default reply. This is simply just to give you some context on how I want it to behave, right? This is one way you can do it. For this instance, we're going to keep it really simple and we're going to have it just like as a, as a static. Now, another way that we can do it is we can head over to marketing tools. I'll show you that now. This is the next step actually in the whole process. So we have the private, that's, that's the most important one. The private DM automation is really, really important, uh, the flow for that. And we're going to click on Facebook comment automation. And over here, we click on add comment leads. There we go. Now over here, we're going to click on specific posts. I'm going to select the one that we have set up, which is this one here. And I feel like you're using the wrong tools. Click on continue. Private reply to comment. Select flow. You can have either text flow or none. And over here, I'm going to put uh, private, private DM comment flow. And for public reply to comment, we can have flow, text or none. Over here, you can have public DM comment flow. Let's select it for this one. Then for more options, we want to have reply only once to choose in a post, depending if that's what you want. Like the user's comment, reply to a user who've already commented other posts, these are all good. And then reply after a certain set of time. I'm going to have it as immediately so you can see the effects immediately but if you're having high volume and stuff like that you definitely want to have random within three minutes random within 10 minutes just so you know, we don't get flagged for anything especially if it's high volume yes this looks all good to me let's click on save and test it out now a very important thing is as it's loading right now is to ensure that you have it toggled on I cannot say how many times i've made that mistake of just you know clicking save and then immediately jumping out you got to have this toggle on where it says status so that it works. To the leads list, we see that's empty. Let's jump on over to Facebook and drop a comment in here. Let's have something like, yeah, I'm down for this. Now I'm expecting three things, a like, a public reply, and a private reply. So we should be seeing, boom, already message came through. I should also be seeing a little thingy here it says that my comment has been liked i'll just refresh so we can have a look at that boom already liked and responded we've dm'd you the resource let's have a look at this great you can check out this free resource here right the resource has been provided value that you're providing to whoever's commenting on this and then it says would you like to join our vip email list for monthly freebies resources and discounts if so you can do so by clicking the button below. So let's get started. I'm going to click on VIP email list. I'm going to give it my name, Asta. My email, Asta at gmail.com. And I should get the confirmation message. Thank you very much, Asta. See, personalized touch. We are glad to have you with us. Watch out for awesome deals and resources. Now let's check the list. And as you can see, it's been pushed through. The reason why I have to notify admin in there is because let's say, for example, your client is part of the admin uh, roles that you've given on CBB. And so you can have it where each time that you get a new lead, because that's what they're paying for. They're paying you for leads in this case, for example, every time they see the notification go off, they get the notification oh, new lead and they see the name. We're including the, the system for our first name. Okay. Um, they cover our first name. And so they'll see that James you know, has been added to the email list by LeBron, Snoop, etc. And so they're seeing the value in hiring your service and what it is that you do. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments below. Reach out to me. Um, you know, let us know also what you would like to see next. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.